Good Friday, my little explorers. Are you ready for an adventure? Because today we are out of the basement and we are on Big Island. So let's go over a few things. We're gonna start off with a little history of Big Island, then we'll discuss your tasks for today, and then I'm going to introduce to you our next project, the Thematic Poetry Project. So let's get going. Lake Minnetonka was formed 10,000 years ago as the Laurentide Ice Sheet receded northward. Lake Minnetonka is a collection of kettle lakes connected by channels and marshlands. It includes 18 islands, one of which I am standing on right now, the biggest island on Lake Minnetonka, Big Island. The first people who inhabited to the area migrated around 8,000 BCE. Later people who inhabited the area between 3,500 BCE and 1,500 CE were collectively known as the Mound Builders because they created large land features that served ceremonial, burial, and spiritual purposes. Big Island has long been the center of human activity. The rolling hills and tall trees made it the perfect location for a winter maple syrup camp for the Mittawakanton sub-tribe of the Dakota people between 1500 and 1700 BCE. The island is home to an amazing amount of animals, including deer, turkey, fox, owls, and one of my favorites friends, the American bald eagle. In 1906, the Twin Cities Rapid Transit Company opened and operated an amusement park right here on Big Island. It serviced over 10,000 people a weekend ferried over on boats that could carry over a thousand people. Lake Minnetonka hasn't seen a boat that big in a long time. A fully electric light tower over 120 feet tall stood right up on top of that hill, lighting the way for boats between Excelsior and Wyzetta. Deep in the woods you can see remnants of some of the old amusement park rides, including the Ye Old Mill Ride located right back here. In 1911, the park closed as quickly as it was opened. The island then spent some time, nearly 80 years, as a veteran's refuge, a place for camping, cabins, all surrounded by cattails. Then, in 2003, the city of Orlo purchased the eastern 65 acres of the island and turned it into a nature park, which remains today. I gotta give a shout out to my man, Senior Storley, who is an expert on Minnesota history. If you wanna know more about Native American history, if you wanna know about Minnesota history, ask Senior Storley, because he, friends, has all the answers. Big Island is truly my happy place. I come here to walk the dirt paths, listen to the water lap against my kayak, and get back to nature. So thanks for listening to my story here, guys. Now let's get back to work. Your tasks today are simple, friends. You need to read as always. Complete that vocab 10 be happy fun time. Make sure to submit a screenshot of the completed results of your IXL author's purpose and theme. And don't forget to continue working on that thematic literary device project. That is going to be due on Tuesday. We move that due date from Monday to Tuesday. So you got a little bit more time to make it even better. All right, friends, enough chit chat, so let's get into it. Now let's talk about our thematic poetry project. What I would like you to do is to create at least five poems of varying style, rhyme scheme, and tone, but that are all unified by a single theme. That theme can be broad or specific, something similar to your thematic literary device project. We will utilize the thematic poetry notebook template that is linked in the video here and to the assignment. After you have made a copy of the Google presentation, rename your new document to our number, your last name, your first name, and poems. And share that document with jacob.westman at mtka.org. And give me the ability to comment. This way I can keep tabs on your progress and make any suggestions. Each of your five to 10 poems should be duplicated one clean and perfect poem, and one labeled and explained. I'm asking you to identify and label at least two literary devices per poem. I also want you to label the rhyme scheme if that is present. Finally, I want you to explain what your poem is really about and how it connects to your overall theme. Utilize vocabulary like tone, mood, subject, perspective, theme, and purpose. Please write in complete sentences, as always. For example, the theme of my poetry project is writing. My first poem deals with poetry specifically. The first copy of my poem is clean and unblemished. It looks exactly how I would want it published. 
The second copy of the poem has the rhyme scheme labeled as well as any literary devices that are used. Finally, for each poem, you need to complete a short analysis. The analysis should use words like tone, mood, theme, subject, and purpose. Make sure you write in complete sentences and use proper punctuation. This should be a fun and creative way for you to express your emotions during these difficult and challenging times. Please do your best as I know you will, and this assignment is due Thursday, April 30th. That's all we got for today, friends. I gotta get back out on this water, start headed for home. As always, remember to be happy, stay healthy, and let's make some history. Cheers.